you, what's up YouTube, Beer Blaze here, bringing you guys another episode of these survival games. Today we are on the map Holiday Resort, and today I decided I feel like doing some SG. Not gonna lie, going into my first game I thought, man, why am I doing this? Like, I, I can't win an SG, and it was a bit shaky, but things got better throughout the game. Let me just say this, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would, and if I wanted to do some PvP, I couldn't wait for somebody else to get on to play with. Because how my internet works is really early in the morning and really late at night, it's good. Anywhere else in between, it's buns. Let me know down below, is your internet like that? Is there a certain time of the day where you know it's bad and you don't even want to try to do anything where you need good ping, good download speed, upload speed, just a time that you try to avoid? Anyway, I was actually playing a game before this one. And the one before this was going really well. I actually had some pretty sick kills in it. But then I, uh, done goofed a little bit. So let's rewind and flash back to the previous game. First guy I ran into, I absolutely demolished. Just dumped all over him. And then I ran into a second guy, and things went pretty okay. Actually, it went really well. Just letting you guys finish up watching that clip. Second guy I ran into, he tried getting the fishing rod, fishing rod, fishing rod, fishing rod on me. So I just held W and left clicked him real good. Sit him down. But then I made a stupid mistake. Put a flint steel down, was throwing stuff out, didn't really look around me, and yeah, uh, some unlucky things happened, to say the least. So, a really good game, it was turning out pretty good. Those two kills were pretty spicy, and I was excited to upload that, but I just spaghetti the rest of the game at the end right there. So we tried again, and this was game number two, which surprisingly went pretty well in its own. So of course at the beginning of the game, there was a lot of action because everybody went to the mainland where everybody else goes near the beach area with the little umbrella thingies right there right next to me and of course I got a couple early kills because I was lucky to get a weapon and they didn't or I just got a better weapon than them and as you see I just take out some pretty easy kills all in all in these two SGs I think I did pretty okay for it being one of my first SG games in a while those two games well the flashback clip you just saw and this one were my only two SG games I played and they both went pretty all right. You'll see how this one ends. And I actually have a question for you guys at the end, for those of you who play SG a lot. Because I was confused on my decision making at the end, and I might have made the wrong decision, but I want to talk to you guys about that. This video is actually funny, because from this point on, I had it rendered, I had it uploaded, everything was done. But I talked about a topic that was kind of sketchy, I guess you can say. It was a topic that I've talked about before in the past, and... Pretty much, I didn't follow through with it, and at the time I thought, oh yeah, I can talk about the topic now, which was actually having a schedule. And after I was done rendering, uploading, and it was up on YouTube and stuff, I had it scheduled for like two days from today. Today's the 21st. It's about 5 p.m. right now. I thought, no, I can't do that. Throughout my entire existence on YouTube, if you go to the first video on my channel, I actually talked about having a schedule. And immediately, I couldn't follow through with the schedule. Because let's just say... Tomorrow, I said, okay, I'm going to upload Badline. And I woke up tomorrow morning, and I thought to myself, I really feel like playing Pixelmon Hoenn region. I don't want to play Badline. I shouldn't be forced to that. I should be able to do whatever I want. And that's my problem with schedules. Every day, day in and day out, I feel different things. Today, I woke up, and I was really feeling like playing SG casually. Now, if I would have lost a bunch of games, and I wasn't successful in them, I wouldn't want to do SG anymore. But my first two games... You guys saw the clip from the first one, this is the second one, and they both went really well. So I thought, boom, this is a perfect opportunity to upload a survival game for you guys. So I've decided that schedules are probably not my thing, and I don't want to make any false promises to you guys and tell you, hey, I'm going to have a schedule, upload it for a week based on the schedule, and then fall off from it. I'd rather just not even get in that very touchy realm at all. So let's just stick to this. As for PvP-related stuff on the channel... If you guys have a favorite PvP server, whether it's, for example, survival games, what is the most popular survival game server? Because back in the day, I believe it used to be MCSG. Oh no, Hive used to be really big, and then MCSG used to be really big, and they were butting heads. And I believe Badline came out, and Badline was for the quote-unquote noobs, and everyone used to play on MCSG. But nowadays, I see a lot of people playing on Badline, and a lot of people are getting banned from MCSG, so maybe that's why a lot of people aren't on. 
but I remember about a year ago hopping on MCSG and seeing every game full and barely trying to get in where you had to get donor to get in the game and now there's only one game that's barely filling up and it's so awkward because if the game I'm in right now if I was to die in it and I went to go join a new game all the people from this game would be in that game because these are the only people on the server at the time super duper weird so yeah let me know down below what is the popular SG server at the moment that a lot of people are playing on. Is it Bad Lion? Is it MCSG? Is there another hidden one that everybody plays on now? I'd assume it's Bad Lion or MCSG though. And on top of that, as for other PvP servers, what do you guys play on? Because you're watching this video, I assume you play some type of PvP. So I'm just curious, down below let me know what type of PvP do you play and what server is it on? Because I'm down for trying out different stuff. But, 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 if you're going to mention something about playing full UHCs and how you'd like to see me do full UHCs on my channel, such as maybe the Spoon or Twit UHCs or something like that, probably not going to do them because I do not enjoy doing full UHCs. Oh, but I guess this is pretty important. It is now late June or something. Are all of you guys that are watching this on summer vacation right now? Because I know different states, different countries and stuff, summer vacation works differently. It's the day I'm recording, as I said, is the 21st of June. If I was still in high school, I believe that I would be maybe during my last week of school here. I'd be ending during this week. But yeah, is everybody off? Let me know down below when you got off and how long you have off until. I believe for me, I got off May 5th was my last day, my last final. So I officially got off at nighttime on May 5th. And my first day of school is August 20th or 22nd. Whichever one of those is a Monday. Is when I have school next. But as for the big question I was asking you guys at the beginning of the game, asking the quote unquote survival gamers, in this situation, you see, okay, so I just one shot this guy real quick, whatever. There are three of us left. There's one guy behind me, one guy in front of me. What should have I done in this situation? Because obviously, I'm in the middle, I'm in a pickle here, and when D-match starts, you don't want to be the guy to quote unquote clean up. So is there strategy to it, or is it just legit rolling the dice and saying, hopefully they target each other, hit each other first, and then I can win? Because it, this was super duper awkward. I'm shooting him in the back, he's running from me. I'm getting shot in the back, I'm running from him at the same time trying to kill him. And I know if he turns and starts sword fighting me, we're gonna get cleaned up by the guy behind us. And a win's a win. That guy's probably just thinking, I'm in the best position right now. I probably could have turned around and fought the guy behind me, but... Something in the back of my head was saying, if I die before D-match, it'll feel like a failure. If I at least make it to D-match and then die, I'll feel a bit of accomplishment where I'm like, okay, at least I made it there, you know what I mean? Although it may not seem like that to some of you guys, that's kind of what I was thinking at the moment. I don't know how to see it. Okay, so get teleported into D-match, and this is where the weird stuff begins. It's three of us, he's in the middle, you assume he's going to get targeted, and then the brawl just breaks out here. For some reason... For some reason, this guy was a two-shot, and then we're battling, we're duking it out. And he was a one-hit, and I died. So in that situation, I don't know, did I play it right? Would have you guys done something else there? Maybe I should have ran around a bit more. Let me know. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Drop your comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed. But I guess that's it. So I'll see you guys next time.